Cancer is a tough topic to talk about. It can be scary and sad, and many of us know someone affected by this disease, which seems to come in an infinite combination of kinds and severities. But maybe we can take away a little of the fear and uncertainty by talking about what cancer actually is. Cancer is a broad term for a class of diseases that share one hallmark trait, cells in your body that grow totally unchecked and don't die the way normal cells do. See, the cells in all our healthy tissues and organs are constantly forming copies of themselves, with older cells being replaced by newer cells. The older cells, once they've made enough copies, are programmed to die and then are eliminated from the body. Problems arise when cell DNA is chemically modified in some way. Normal cell life cycles are regulated by their healthy DNA, while in cancerous cells with malfunctioning DNA, the faulty cells replicate uncontrollably, and all the cells that result from that faulty cell carry the defect as well. This cluster of malfunctioning cells grows and grows, and eventually becomes what we call a tumor. Tumors made up of cancerous cells steal energy and resources, like space and nutrients, from the surrounding healthy tissue, causing health problems. Cancerous cells can also become metastatic, meaning they can spread through the blood or the lymphatic system from the tissue of origin to other parts of the body, causing other tissues and organs to form tumors and become cancerous as well. Some cancers are the result of genetics. Some can be triggered by catching a virus like the human papillomavirus or HPV, which is the main cause of cervical cancer. Some compounds like asbestos, tobacco, radiation from the sun, and an endless list of other things known to damage our cell's DNA are called carcinogens and can put you at a higher risk of developing cancer in the tissues that are exposed to that substance. It's important to remember though that you can't catch cancer from someone who has it. That's not how it works. Some of the world's best minds are devoted to how we deal with cancer, and the most common treatments are surgery, which removes tumors from the affected area, chemotherapy, which uses targeted chemical compounds to kill cancer cells, and radiation, which uses high energy radiation waves to kill the cells that are out of control. Researchers are always looking for new and better ways to treat or even prevent cancer. Lawrence Livermore National Lab is home to some of the most exciting cancer research, including the development of proton therapy, a treatment that targets only the unhealthy cells and spares healthy tissue from damage, using our supercomputing resources to cut the cancer drug development process from six years down to just one, and using something called accelerator mass spectrometry to understand how cancer treatments behave on a molecular level, all of which we'll continue to cover in upcoming installments of the Cancer Series.